Today in this video, let us look into axis of the eye. The first one is about optical axis. In a spectacle lens, an optical axis of a lens is an imaginary line connecting the center of curvature of the two surfaces of the lens. In this biconvex lens, this is the first surface of lens, this is the second surface of lens, this dot is the center of curvature of first surface, and distance is radius of curvature. This dot is the center of curvature of second surface. And this is the radius of curvature. And the final line which runs through the center of curvature of first and second surface is known as optical axis. In human eye, optical axis is the line that passes through the center of cornea which is represented by P nodal point N and meets the retina R on the nasal side of phobia. This dot represents the center of cornea P. This dot represents the nodal point N. And this is the nasal side of phobia R. And the final line which passes from all three points is known as optical axis of the eye. Practically, it is impossible to determine optical axis accurately since we don't know the exact center of cornea. However, it is much easier to estimate the center of pupil. Therefore, we substitute the optical axis by a line perpendicular to cornea and the point coinciding to the center of pupil. In this diagram, this is the corneal plane. This dot represents center of pupil, and this is optical axis. So, the optical axis and the corneal plane which runs perpendicular to each other creates 90 degree. All the cardinal data of standard reduced eye lie on this axis. First, the principal point, 1.5 mm behind the anterior cornea. Second, the nodal point 7.2 mm behind the anterior cornea. Third, the center of rotation 13.5 mm behind the anterior cornea. Fourth, the primary focal point 15.7 mm in front of anterior cornea. And lastly, the secondary focal point 22.2 mm behind the anterior cornea. In this diagram, this point represents the principal point. This dot represents the nodal point and the center dot represents the center of rotation and this dot represents the secondary focal point and the dot that's in front of the eye represents the primary focal point and this final line which joins all the dot is known as optical axis of the eye. Now the second point is about visual axis. Visual axis is an imaginary line that connects the point of fixation O to the nodal point N and meets the fovea F. Or visual axis is an imaginary line that connects point of fixation O, nodal point N and fovea F. In this diagram, this is an optical axis. This point represents the point of fixation. This point represents the nodal point and this is the phobia. So the line that connects point of fixation O, nodal point N and fovea F is known as visual axis. The third point is about fixation axis. An imaginary line that connects the fixation point O and the center of rotation C is called as fixation axis. Or Fixation axis is an imaginary line that connects the fixation point O and the center of rotation C. In this diagram, this is an optical axis. This dot represents the point of fixation. This is the nodal point. This point represents the center of rotation. And this dot is phobia. So the line that connects point of fixation and center of rotation is known as fixation axis. Now these are some points to be remembered. Remember that all those axes are not a physical feature of the eye. 
and also they cannot be identified by dissection or by any physical imaging technique.